all. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up expressions within VTube Studio itself. You no longer need that pesky live 2D viewer in order to set up expressions for your models. And that also means that if you've commissioned a model, you can actually make your own custom expressions without having to download any live 2D parts. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening the settings here. So double click and then we're going to click our cog here and we're going to go to the fourth tab at the top here. So this will open up our hotkey settings. Now you may have been here before if you've set up any hotkeys in the past. Obviously the traditional way is to create your expression within the Live 2D viewer, save that file to your model file and then you press plus, put in your expression and set up a hotkey for that. However, it's a lot easier now. So we're going to scroll back up to the top here and you'll see this nice new button here which says Expression Editor. We click on that. So you'll notice a few things here. So the first thing we can do is we'll notice that we've got all of our set up expression hotkeys here. So for example, my Angry here uses five different parameters. If we look at that, we can actually edit this within the program now. We're going to leave that as is. Now, if you've not touched any of your hotkeys yet before, you can actually use this neat new button, which says create new hotkeys for all unused expressions. And doing so will create new for any expressions that you've already set up. And now I'm going to show you how to set up the expressions within VTube Studio itself. So you'll notice at the top here, there's a button which says create new expression. We're going to go ahead and click that one. Here we are. So this new menu will pop up here. Now, first we can name our expression. So I know we've already got an angry set up, but we might as well just do it for demonstration purposes. So we'll put angry and this will create the new file for you, similar to how you do it in the live 2D viewer. But I find it's a lot easier to set up within the program itself. You know, you don't have to go through that middleman sort of thing. You'll also notice there's this little slider here, which says show physics parameters. Now, the thing with using physics parameters for your expressions is they won't be affected by the physics if they are toggled on or off. So I would try and avoid using any physics parameters when setting up expressions. However, you might be able to use it for certain things if you don't want them to particularly move during a certain expression, for example. That's a little bit of a case by case scenario, I suppose. Right, so you'll notice all of our parameters set up here and they have the parameter name followed by the parameter ID. So make sure that you're naming all of your parameters, okay guys? <laughs> to be honest, I think most people do name their parameters properly. Some people get a little bit lazy with the IDs though. All right, so we're making an angry expression. So we're gonna scroll down and find our eyebrows first because I think we want angry eyebrows, right? So I'll see, oh, there's my brows. We want the form. be around here so you can actually see how it's changing I think that looks okay obviously we want them to be angled a bit this way let's put them at the full extra angy <laughs> and then I think hmm, we want to be upset right so we're gonna find our mouth and I'm gonna set my mouth for my angry <laughs> so now I look mad, right? <laughs> now you notice that it won't let me save. It's because I already have a file called angry in my folder. So I'm going to go ahead and change that to anger. And then you'll notice it's going to let me save. So there is something in place to stop you from accidentally naming things the same thing. So that has gone ahead and created our brand new expression. So you'll see it pop up at the top here. And then we can just select that. And then we can change it whenever we want. And then obviously, once you've set those up, you can create the new hotkeys again. And it should appear at the bottom here for us. One of these. There it is. And we just simply assign this to a hotkey. Like so. <laughs> And obviously there is some things to bear in mind when creating expressions. For example, if you manipulate things that are ordinarily tracked, they are no longer going to track if they are set at a certain value. 
For example, if I set my angle X here at zero and I try and turn my head, you'll notice it's not turning <laughs> because it's locked at zero for the expression. Let's turn that off. Ah, I can move my head again. <laughs> And obviously, the rigger slash artist will have to set up certain toggle expressions for you to set up within the program if you want to do that way. Ordinarily, your rigger slash artist will set up your hotkeys for you, or they may give you instructions on how to do so. So, for example, I do have some toggles here. For example, my glasses set to one. They appear. <laughs> So that was just a really quick tutorial on setting up hotkeys in VTube Studio. Now a lot easier without having to go through the Live 2D viewer. And I'm sure it'll find a lot of use. I know I've found a few uses for it when I found, oh, I missed out an expression. I better add that. It's a lot easier to do now because I can just do it straight from VTube Studio itself. And obviously if you are confused about certain parameters on your models or how to set things up specifically for your model, then you'd need to get into contact with your rigger and or artist and they could probably help you out with the specifics. Obviously every model is unique and different in Live 2D. You may have different toggles for different things and you might not be sure what sort of things might be affecting what. <laughs> for example, certain things might be linked to certain physics. They might be affected by certain changes within the expression editor. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day and best of luck with your Live2D projects, and I'll see you around. Bye bye!